Hi, this is Coach P. Jim Pusateri, and you're listening to the Good Morning Minute of Inspiration Podcast. Each morning, we bring you a short inspirational message to kick off your morning and to put you into positive attitude needed to succeed and to win the day. Yes, we're coming at you today from Inspirational University, our studios here in beautiful Florida, Orlando area. Actually, coming at you from out of Davenport, Florida. Our company, Inspirational University, is helping people or helping you with positive instruction and training in business startup, business management, self-improvement, and health and wellness programs. Be sure to check out our mastermind group over at inspiringthem.com, inspiringthem.com. Well, good morning out there to our Move Forward Nation of listeners, this great group of positive listeners. And I thank you for downloading this episode, number 409, here in our second year or second season of this podcast. Our quote for today, other people's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. That's from Les Brown. Yes, Les Brown. Other people or other people's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Good quote, folks. So many people let other people determine who they're going to be in life determine how they see themselves in life, determine their value in life, all based on what other people's opinions are. It doesn't have to become your reality, folks. Don't let other people's opinion frame who you are. They have no idea who you are. They don't live in your world. They don't live your life. How could they even know who you are or what you are unless they live and walk in your shoes? Other people's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. It drives me nuts. I don't care what other people think. It only matters what you think. What do you want in this life? What are your goals in this life? Are you striving to get your goals? Then who cares what other people think? It's your dream. It's your goal. It's your destiny. It's what you're after in this world. Other people's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Because it really doesn't matter. Who cares what they think of you? They may be jealous. They may have failed in their life. They're telling you their experiences in life and that should frame your experience in life? Heck no. Come on, folks. I tell you that attitude in this world is everything. Attitude is everything. Yes, you have to change the way you see things in life. Quit worrying about how other people see you, how other people's opinion is, and all that other stuff. It only matters how you see yourself. Are you happy with yourself? If you get up in the morning and you know it's a great day, and you look in the mirror and you like who's in there and you like what you're doing with your life, that's all that matters. The other people's opinion does not matter. Why do you let that negative garbage flow on you? Who cares what they think? They don't know nothing about you. They don't know where you're going. They don't know your dreams. They don't know your struggle. They don't know your fight. They don't know your um, uh, per- perseverance. They don't know it. Only you know it. I'm telling you, folks, when you get comfortable in your own skin, when you figure out your passion in life and make it your career, you are such a different person. You view yourself differently. You won't even worry about other people's opinions anymore. I'm telling you, folks. Hey, I'm asked every, you know, hey, when I'm asked every day, and they say, how's your day going? I always respond. Just great or fantastic. Many people ask me, is it always great or fantastic? Don't you have a bad day? My response is, maybe some bad moments, but never a completely bad day. They always respond, how is that possible? You see, I believe you determine your attitude or your mood. It's how you respond to the bad situation that determines if you're going to have a bad day. I never let a bad situation take control of my entire day or mood. Your attitude is your own decision every day. See, I wake up and tell myself each morning, today is going to be a great day. And heck, in my mind, it's already a great day. I woke up. I'm in the mirror. Yes, I tell my students each and every day this. Every day is a great day. You're going to have bad moments. Yes, there's going to be problems in your life. There's going to be setbacks. Life is nothing more than a series of problems. It is. How do you view the problems? How do you handle the problems? Are you going to let someone else's opinion determine how you handle the problems? I hope not. I hope not. I tell my students that your greatest enemy in this life is your mind. 
You have to be able to control your mind. You have to understand this very simple process. Positive in, which is your self-talk, will equal positive out, which is your thoughts. Because your thoughts control your feelings, and your feelings control your action. And if you put positive in, you're going to get positive results out. So how does one control your mind? It starts with you, folks. You gotta find your pos- you gotta find like positive material to read each day. You gotta follow positive people. You gotta listen to positive things like this podcast. That's what this podcast is designed for: is to give you a little inspiration each morning, a little positive each and every morning. That's what it's designed for. Yes, if you're put in a negative situation or group, folks, you need to walk away. Don't allow negative thoughts into your mind. Find a way to make the negative a positive. Remember, it's all about the way you interpret the situation. Find the positive in it and dwell on that. There's the secret. Quit dwelling on the negative. Remember, researchers say you've got 10,000 to 60,000 thoughts a day. 80% of them are negative. You can't dwell in that 80%. You've got to dwell over in that 20%, those positive thoughts. Yeah, they say 98% of your thoughts are the same things you had yesterday. So you're going to get this negative each and every day coming at you. you got to focus on what you want in life, folks, and that's your goal. Because remember, your mind starts with your thoughts, and your thoughts are going to control your feelings, and your feelings are going to control your actions. So have positive thoughts so you can have positive feelings and positive actions. you got to have that plan of action. you got to make sure your thoughts are moving you closer to everything it is that you want in this life. Are your thoughts moving you closer? Or are they moving you farther away from your goals? Remember, folks, what gets scheduled gets done. That's why goal setters achieve. They've scheduled their life. They've followed our plan of action. They're out there doing their action steps and their tasks each and every day. They're getting closer to their success each and every day. They're not letting someone else tell them what success is, what isn't. Yes, other people's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Positive in equals positive out. Here's eight steps to change the way you see things, folks. Get a journal. Start writing everything down. Two, reflect each night on the things that you wrote down and the things that happened throughout your day. Three, figure out what your why is in life. Why are you doing what you do? Four, figure out your passion in life and make it your career. Five, change your environment. Get out of the negative environment. Six, Self-improvement. Become a lifelong learner. Get out of your comfort zone. Look for positive materials and absorb them. Listen to this podcast each and every day. This will start your day off with a positive thought. That's positive in. Six, self-improvement. I already said that one. Seven, change your belief system. Focus on the process, not the results. It's the process that's going to get you there. It's the process alone. The process is your action steps. It's your tasks. It's your goals that are listed on paper. That's the process. And eight, embrace the struggle. Folks, they say only 13% of people learn from failure. That's a sad. That means the rest of the world is letting failure define them. But there's only 13% out there that are using failure as motivation. Hey, I'm in the process of writing a book right now on how to achieve success. And I truly believe it happens through this very simple formula. A plus B equals C. Attitude plus behavior equals change. The only way you're going to achieve success is change the way you do things or look at things. Change is a powerful tool, but it all starts with your attitude. It must be a positive one. Then it takes behavior, or in my world, action steps. Yes, your daily task. You must create success, habits, and goals. I teach that goals are just dreams unless you commit them to writing. That's your action steps. Folks, write down everything it is that you want in life. Put a date on it when you want to achieve it. Break it into action steps. Break the action steps into tasks. Schedule the tasks each and every day and you're on your way to success. Yes, the action steps. When you write them down, they become goals. And when you work your action steps, you create habits. And no habits are going to lead to change. Thus, A plus B equals C. Attitude plus behavior 
will equal change. Hey folks, if you'd like a copy of that book when we complete it, if you'd be interested in it, I will give you it free of charge. You only have to pay for the shipping. You drop me an email, coachjrp at gmail.com, coachjrp at gmail.com. Tell me you would really like to reserve your free copy of that book today. And when we're completed it, we will send it out to you free of charge. All you need to do is pay the shipping. Again, drop us an email, coachjrp at gmail.com. Tell us, I'd like your book, A plus B equals C, which is attitude plus behavior equals change, for free. I'll just pay the shipping. Go ahead and do that today, folks. We appreciate it as we continue to move forward here. And you know here that our goal, our mission, is to bring a little inspiration to the world each morning. And we need you to pledge to our cause. We need your help to spread this information throughout social media all over the world to let people know about this positive podcast, the Good Morning Minute of Inspiration podcast. Please, I'm asking you to pay it forward. If you can't donate, please just spread our information all over social media. That is pledging to our cause. If you can't afford a little donation, we'd appreciate that. Yes, please help us with the ongoing costs to keeping our information free because your generous donation of even just a dollar a month will go a long way to keeping this positive information flowing to the world. If you're a business owner out there and you would like to be on this positive podcast, sponsoring it each and every day and letting our group of Move Forward Nation of listeners, this positive group of information, hear about your company, your service, your goods, whatever it is that you're selling, your product, go ahead and sponsor this podcast very reasonable rates. If you want to donate or you want to sponsor the podcast, go over to our website, inspiringthem.com, inspiringthem.com, or in the show notes below, there's links to go ahead and do that. We appreciate everybody that helps us out here. And as always, we have our free booklet out there, The Five Peace to Success. You can get that at our website or in the, in the link in the show notes below. Yes, it's The Five Peace to Success. It's a free booklet on how to develop the mental toughness to succeed, the ability to move forward under pressure. If you have a question for us, like to have something discussed on our show, have a favorite quote you'd like us to feature on the podcast. Maybe you've got a product or something that you'd like to share to our group of listeners through some affiliated marketing. We're open to all of that stuff. Go ahead and let us know. Maybe you have some ideas uh, on things that we could produce here uh, that you'd be interested in. Whatever it is, drop us an email, coachjrp at gmail.com. That's coachjrp at gmail.com. And this is Coach P, Jim Pusateri. And my passion is to educate and inspire people to move forward towards success. How can I help you develop the mental toughness to succeed? How can I help you understand that other people's opinion of you does not have to become your reality? Because it really doesn't matter. It only matters what you see. It only matters what you think. It only matters what you want in this world. Remember, A plus B equals C. Attitude plus behavior equals change. This is Coach P. Go out there today and do what you want to do. And don't worry about what everybody else thinks. Have yourself a great day and move forward. Are you having a hard time maintaining the proper weight, the proper lean muscle? Maybe you need a nutritional meal plan. Yes, a nutritional meal plan. Our online meal planning program has over 750 nutritional built meal plans. We design a custom meal plan for you with support from one of our personal trainers. One of our personal trainers will help you with your meal planning in a nutritional way. For further information, go on over to ShowtimeSAQ.com. That's ShowtimeSAQ.com. Showtime Performance Training, Nutritional Meal Planning, and Coaching at ShowtimeSAQ.com. Hey, Coach P here. We're at Inspirational University, where we help you with positive instruction and training in business management, self-improvement, and health and wellness programs. 
Can you use a business or life mentor, coach, or consultant to help with your business and self-improvement? Well, you should be joining our Mastermind Group. Gain instant access to Coach P, Jim Pusateri, and other like-minded business owners. You can ask your questions or advice directly to Coach P, either by email or on the phone with a personal coaching call. You also gain access to a group of like-minded business owners where you can post your questions and gain valuable advice in this private online community. Gain this unlimited access today. Hey, business does not have to be trial and error. Get professional advice prior to decision making. Join our mastermind group today. We help you with business questions, startup questions, operation, marketing, and any type of self-improvement health and wellness programs. For additional information, go on over to inspiringthem.com, inspiringthem.com. Inspirational University, helping you with positive instruction and training in business management, self-improvement, and health and wellness programs. Inspiringthem.com, inspiringthem.com.